Structure Podcast. Guns out, guns out. Doesn't Let's make go, boys. We are ready to go, fired up. We got an absolute stud in the house. This guy is one of the most jacked and natty guys I've ever met. No glaze. And one of the most genuine dudes from Penn State, Justin Mira. How the hell are we feeling today, brother? Thank you, boys. Feeling great now. I'm really happy to be finally talking to you guys. I've been trying to do this for a while, and it's finally happening. So let's go. I'm amped up to be talking to you guys, for sure. Amped up to be talking. Let's get right into it, bro. How did the Get Raw Nutrition happen? Let's get right to it. Yeah, dude. So um, essentially, Get Raw Nutrition, so Seabum's brand, essentially, Kyle um, did a deal with them, right? And they started working with the Nelk Boys, kind of going back and forth. I was connected with Jack, their uh, talent supervisor um, for Raw Sponsored Athletes. And Jack, one of the coolest guys ever, um, we kind of hit it off right away. Jack was like, yo, you're in Florida. Um, come to a shoot for us um, a little bit north of Miami, about an hour and a half north of Miami. Come to a shoot for us, a supplement shoot for our new like endurance drop we're going to do. Um, and let's see if the team vibes with you. Let's see how you look in the product. Let's see Let's see if like, the vibe is right. And I was like, let's do it, bro. So drove up. Did this shoot with Raw. Um, Jack couldn't be there, but their team was so cool. The photographer, Calvin, just these all these awesome guys, but these really cool guys. And just clicked these guys right away. Went to get dinner with them. Clicked really well. Jack hit me up and was like, bro, the team really likes you, loves your energy. Like, let's let's do this. Let's work together. Um, and it just makes sense. I'm, I'm training the Nelk guys. Kyle's with with Raw. So it just kind of made, made sense. And it's kind of like a natural type of thing where I feel like a lot of sponsored athletes kind of just go with a brand because they just – you know, all the money's there or, you know, like just say they're sponsored. Like, I don't know. I genuinely vibe with raw. It was such a, such a natural thing. So that's how that happened. Yeah. Bang. Love that. Justin, welcome to the unstructured pod. With that being said, we're happy to have you on here. I know it's been a difficult time trying to, you know, go with your difficult schedule. Yeah. You're traveling uh-huh. a ton. You got this new gig. Why don't you tell the people about it? Tell the people what you're doing as much as you can. Um, Cause I know you got a, a pretty cool gig that people would like to hear about. Yeah, bro. So um, essentially, Right now, um, working full time um, as like a trainer on the road, I guess, um, for um, Salim and the Nelk Boys. So essentially, I met Salim when he came to Penn State for like a college tour here. Him and I hit it off. Actually, I was eating chicken and rice and a uh, natty light can in my hand in my frat house, uh, in my frat house like main room. And he was like, "This guy's like hilarious." And he followed me on Instagram and saw after post college. What I was doing, personal training in a corporate corporate gym, go for my master's degree. He hit me up on Instagram, was like, yo, we're looking for a trainer full time down here in Miami. If it's something you're interested in, like let me know. I was like, you know what? I'm 22. Let's just do it. Let's do it. I took the took the risk, traveled, moved all my shit down to Miami. Uh started working with Sleem and the guys, and like, yeah, just just awesome experience so far um with them. It's just been it's been so fun, so cool. Uh they're dialed in. It's been it's been really, really cool. Yeah, and if you guys haven't seen the progress that the Nelk Boys have been make, making, you guys got to go check it out. Go in the comments. Go look at all the links when you're done listening to this podcast. Going to love to hear about all the funny stories you have to tell. Absolutely yeah. dialed in, locked in. I've never seen a man so lo- locked in than Justin is in the gym. I mean, this man is an absolute tank. I can't believe – I look at I look, Justin, I look at your Instagram uh, profile picture, and that was you from like two years ago. Like you're just like yeah. even bigger than that. Oh, it's yeah, crazy, yeah. Crazy, yeah. crazy, crazy, locked in. Crazy. But, yeah. but Justin, a lot of people know you, right, for the for the working out thing and mm-hmm. who you work with. But I want to know a little bit. I want to go to the other side. Talk mm-hmm. to me about like your That's upbringing cool. and what were some of your fondest memories um, as like you know coming up from New York. Yeah, dude, let's go. That's awesome. So a lot of a side that most people don't see or don't really know about me. Um, essentially, like I'm just like a very you know you see the muscles and you see this like straight face all the time, coach <laughs> coach type of look. Like I mean. Juwan, you know, like, I live with Brad, like him and I had a very funny dynamic in our, uh, all four years of them together at Penn state. But growing up, I was always like, very like funny, skinny, like just always the kid that was just harmless, like just, just funny and like innocent, you know? Um, I was a cross country runner my whole, like all of high school. I was going to go to college for cross country for running. Um, I was like 130 pounds. What didn't even know what the gym was. I saw these football players in my high school. They were so big, strong and like, just like could probably eat me if they wanted to. And I remember like I had some of the friends and some of my friends on the team and they were like, come lift with us one day after school in the weight room, hit a lift with them. Didn't really know what I was doing. Started bench pressing 
And all of a sudden, I kind of fell in love with the gym when I started seeing the results. I was like, yo, this actually works. Stopped running. I knew I wanted to get bigger and just get more of like the fast twitch type of athlete style. Wrestle. I got into wrestling, playing football by my by the end of high school. And just transitioned from like a very like immature, like just immature type of kid. And I kind of grew, the gym made me like grow up. I just kind of grew up. And that transition into Penn State where Brad and I met, lived with Brad, just fu- just kept that funny side of me, but still was mature and like, you know, growing um, in the gym. Yeah, and Love if, that. If, Let me ask you, Mira. Three on uh, Penn State really quick. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. Name your best spots for all three of those meals. Best spots? Breakfast, yeah. Penn State? Yeah. Penn State, okay. All right. Let's do it. So, all right. People, I love um, Bagel Cross. Bagel Cross, I love. People, that's going to, that might be a hot take. I love Bagel Cross. It's a hot take on um, this point, for that's sure. That's a hot take for sure. I love Bagel Cross. That's not number one, though. Number one is the, um, crap, what's the, the, pan, what's the, the waffle, waffle, waffle shop. Waffle, waffle shop is my number one. I'm telling you. I was known for hitting up my boys every Sunday when we were hungover. I'd be like, boys, we're doing a <laughs> waffle shop run today. Like, that waffle shop is number one for sh- by far, but I still love Bale Cross. Waffle shot number one, though. Um, lunch. Ooh, I always go with like, I don't know, bro, like Chipotle. I always do Chipotle or some shit like that for lunch. Lunch wasn't really roots. a huge thing. Um, roots, Roots was fire. That's a, that was a health, that was a really healthy option, you know. When I lived in the frat house, we had a chef for us, so I was eating lunch at the frat house a lot. So I don't know, Chipotle is like my go to lunch, not a really, not a huge lunch guy. Um, dinner at Penn State, oh, buddy. Buddy, snap pizza always. Thank slow. you, snap bro. Pizza Ethan, you yeah, blame me for that. Yeah, I'll snap. You're a New pizza. York guy too. You no. know pizza. You know I pizza. I know. I'm a, I'm a New Yorker, bro. But it's like at Penn State. It's like, what do you expect? I don't know, bro. Like snap pizza always just slapped. Slap, bro. slap. Thank you, bro. You didn't maybe, want maybe, maybe, pizza. maybe whenever I went to Snap, they had the wrong people working there. No, I you, don't you know. Did. What am I? Snap they, pizza, just, you just always knew. I don't know. I knew what I was getting when I went to slap. And it's uh, a quick slap, bite, slap, too, bro. Yeah. It's quick and easy. So quick and easy. Get out the door, bro. They had cookies, too, at the end, bro. And they were amazing. Oh, I did, amazing. Dude, were, oh, great. Yeah. Hey, Zresky, we're going back next time we go up to Penn State. Uh, shout I'm out gonna Penn State. I have to football. give it another shot. I, I have to give it another you try. Have another to, shot, bro. I'm telling you. Yo, bacon, ranch, um, uh, mozzarella cheese. Barbecue sauce. Try that out. Try Done. the barbecue. Because when I go, I got the hot honey, and it's not not too much. You got well, make I, your... That's what I like. Let, let's, oh, I, next time I go, I'm gonna get the Justin. Maybe Mira. that's not good there, though. Maybe that's not like good at Snap. So maybe try yeah. try something else. Snap. I'm gonna get like. the Justin Miro. We gotta make that a special pie at Snap. Oh, so yeah. watching. Yes, sir. Drop a yes, comment sir. at Snap. For yes, sure. sir. Drop the mirror. We're gonna get that now, Mira. Obviously, you're drinking your water again. The gallon. What is your top three supplements go to? supplements uh okay obviously i am a uh raw athlete so i'm gonna go with my favorite raw products i love their protein the i the it's because sebum has a list they call it ithalate protein and it's so good it's they have a cinnamon they have a cinnamon cereal flavored and bro you put banana chocolate peanut butter in that with some cinnamon cinnamon uh ithalate protein so good like actually top notch um, I love their fuel product. It's a carbohydrate type of hydration source for my endurance work. Uh, keeps me going for my long runs, my aerobic work. Really, really good. Um, and then lastly, I'm going to go with their, uh, I love their pre-workout, the Thavage, and uh, I love their hydration packets. The hydration packets are great. So those two are my, my three. But yeah, those are my top three supplements. Talking a lot about the raw supplements. Is there any way that our users can get some help through you on raw. Is there any like codes or anything? Code Mira, code Mira, 10% off. And I promise you guys, these subs are like, like you will try it. You'll be like, why was I ever taking any other? Why was I using any other brand? Like this is, this is quality. I'm not just saying that it is quality. And you're listening, and you, listen yeah, to yeah. what Justin's saying right now. Cause Justin's yeah. professional. You can see Justin's already got the results. Yeah. So trust Mira, go in the comments, yeah. get your supplements. Cause I sure am. And use code Mir for 10% Thank off. You, yeah. That's, yeah. That's how you do it, bro. That's I'm how you do it. Dial in. Let's go. Dial, dial in, in, boys. Dial Literally in. dialing dial in, get in, the baby. pump going. Go. Now, we talked a lot about the gym, but I want to talk about something completely different. Yeah. Let's do it. What's your, like, top three musical artists right now? Oh, here we go. Okay. I'm a big country music guy. Okay. Actually, Avery and I went to a Morgan Wallen concert together, Ethan. Shout out, Avery. Shout out Avery's no, Avery, Rescue. Avery's coming Avery's, on the pod soon. Avery, get you Oh, yeah, okay, good. Avery's Rescue is the man. Uh, <laughs> Avery and I went to a Morgan Wallen concert. Morgan Wallen's my 
favorite artists right now at the moment. And of all genres, I love Morgan Wallen. I, I, that's generic, I know. Okay, <laughs> let's go to rap. Lil Wayne is my favorite rapper of wow. all time. Lil Wayne. I will, I'm a diehard Lil Wayne fan. Really? I think Lil Wayne is the best rapper alive. I stand by Lil Wayne. I love that guy. Love it. Um, and I'm going to go through another hot take. I love The Weeknd. I love The Weeknd. Um, chill, kind of just chill music. I don't know. It's chill. His voice is just, it's like euphoric, bro. I love The Weeknd. So <laughs> those are my three guys. Yeah. Morgan Wallen, The Weeknd, Lil Wayne. Very, very interesting mix, but those are my three. I'm not going to lie. Juwan asks that question to a lot of our guests, and that was by far the three best, the, th- the, com- the, b- the combination of the three best that I've ever heard. But yeah, yeah, I mean, not even here, I'll tell you, Lil Wayne came to Penn State when Drake was there, and like, I'm not going to lie, I felt kind of disrespected as a fan of Lil Wayne that not enough people were singing his song in the crowd. Yeah. Like, Lil Wayne, let's, let, let's just like clear the air. He's the one that discovered Drake. So, that's, bro, I, bro, of course Lil Wayne comes the year after I graduate and I'm not there. I was like, of course, like that's just my luck. No, that literally, that's just so, your luck. So many people that came to Penn State. I know though. we got. I know my my Penn year. Penn State this year was crazy. Lou Combs. Crazy, crazy. Best best Penn best year to be a Penn State student for sure when it comes to artists and people performing at the Travis BJC. Scott and Drake in the same yeah, semester for sure. 100 percent, bro. 100 percent. Justin, you've been traveling like crazy, bro. What's the what's been your favorite travel spot that you've been to in the last Great year? Great question. Listening? Oh, that's a good question, bro. You can do Ooh. top three if you can't pick if you can't pick top one. Three. I mean, we go to Vegas a lot. <laughs> I'm sure that's a blast. I lose my money. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Vegas. Vegas is like honestly, bro. I don't even gamble when I go with them. I don't really gamble much. That's good. Uh, Let's keep it that happy, way. That, the happy death <laughs> parties in Vegas rip. I'll tell you that the happy death <laughs> party rip. So that might be like top. I don't know if it's it's hard to top Vegas. I'm actually going with the guys to the the UFC event, the Sphere coming up in um oh, in, uh, gonna September. It's gonna be sick in Vegas, but Vegas is pretty sick. Um, that da- da- we did a golf video in Dallas. I like I like Dallas, Texas a lot. Dallas, Texas, Vegas, and then um, uh yeah, I feel, I feel like I don't know. And then we're in Miami. I don't know Vegas. Where else do we go? Oh, okay. This is different. I like. Uh, we went to Calgary, Banff, Banff area in Canada. W, w. bro, yep. you beautiful. Actually, Wait, where is this? This is Banff. This is the west coast of Canada. So this is above. This is above LA. This like, is not like this like Toronto, like Montana. typical. It's, 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 it's in nowhere. It's literally it's in nowhere, bro. This is this is like you're you're like up there near Alaska, bro. You're near Alaska. Yeah. And Banff was literally one of the most beautiful places I've ever been to on Earth. Um, definitely in the winter time. It's I heard it's better in the summer. I was there in the winter time, and it was so beautiful, bro. Like it was amazing, such a sick experience. So I'm gonna put Banff at number one, actually. Vegas two, and then Dallas three. Dang, I was Dang. not expecting to hear Banff, Alberta in the top. I know. Banff, Ethan, Alberta. Do you know that place? I do, I do. I actually had an opportunity to go, but I folded. Um, beautiful, bro. Kind you of have a to go over there. It's a chill. I will. Take a visit. Yeah, I love Western Canada, a very underrated area very of underrated North, area, of North America. Love. For sure. Western Canada is where it's at. Yes, sir. Damn, I didn't even know about that. I'm not going to lie. I'm like the casual. I only know about Toronto and Niagara Falls. Yeah. So. Yeah. Go check and out like, the Western part of Canada, bro. I'm telling you. Facts. It's beautiful. We got we to head over there. Um, Mir, is there anything you want to bring in? Talk about topics, questions you had for you us? Like, any wanna... funny stories? I mean, you got oh, crazy fuck. shit going yeah. on all the time. Yeah. I mean, like, I want to talk to you guys a little bit. Like, let's hear so, it. I mean, you guys are both. So, you guys are both wearing Penn State shirts. So, like, I love that you guys are both repping, obviously. Big Penn State guy myself, Penn State grad. Or do you guys so you guys put these on before we start the pod? Um, is this like you want to affiliate Penn State with are you just wearing these shirts like because I'm in this with you guys? Or is, do you want to affiliate Penn State with the pod? Like, what do you guys like? Do you guys talk about Penn State a lot when you're on the pod with guests? Like, talk to me about Penn State. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'll tell you this me and him met this year, which is crazy. And oh, really? Oh, we sh- met senior year, yeah, we met through Penn State Reach, which is a club that we started together. On the social media club, uh, and um, you know, we were just like, "Yo, let's start a pod." And we were like, "Yo, what if we start a podcast?" And like, being talk about like what you said earlier about twenty two and just like send it. It was the same thing here. It's like just start a pod, and like it, it was the greatest experience. So to answer your question directly, do we try to have an affiliation with Penn State? No, obviously by nature, a lot of our guests have come from the Penn State vicinity. But Zresky, I want to see if you want to add anything to that. Yeah, no, it's funny because you say, you know, did you put on the shirts because we went to Penn State and you're on, but 
we we record we record our pods in bunches. So we 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 try to you know we, we change our shirts. We we changed our shirts before the pod. We just happen to put on some Penn State shirts. Oh but God! Love, this go. one this one in particular I love the fire and shirt. I was I was where was I? I was in Home Depot, and I'm wearing the shirt. And some guy stops me. and He goes, "Don't you think that shirt's offensive?" And I stop I stop him and I go, "What do you think this looks like?" Oh, to laugh at. <laughs> So yep. Penn State played Oregon in the oh call me a casual in the Rose Bowl they played in the Rose Bowl but I don't know what year it was and my dad made the shirt of the Nittany Lion choking out the Oregon Duck and it's yep. pretty ironic because now Oregon's in the Big Ten so I love this shirt, I'll never, shirt. Yeah, let's I'll never get rid of it I'll never get so rid of that far. I absolutely yeah. love it no yeah but great great uh great oh, yeah. thought to be yeah, no, no uh, shout out Penn State absolutely yeah, love it but, Penn State, yeah. baby. so you guys met this year. Literally, yeah, message your, yo, Mira, really quick, 30 second synopsis. I don't want to steal the cheese. No, Ethan, is it cool no. if I explain the pod? <laughs> I literally, you're going to not believe, you know, Willard, Willard, Com, College of Com, where that is by, uh, oh, over by yeah, the oh, library. Building. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. I'm outside the Willard Library. I go, yo, Zareski, what if we start a podcast? And I was like, it's, every podcast out there is all like has a set topic health, wellness, business. There's always a theme, right? With each podcast. We're like, yeah. what if we just talked about whatever and we made the podcast? People, att- People get attracted to the podcast based off our personalities and just like how we are. And then we're like, all right, let's yep. rip it. Went on IG Live, said we're coming out of the podcast. 43 weeks later, and here we are talking to you. Dude, let's go. And talk about energy, bro. Um, obviously, Ethan, I don't really know you that well yet. Obviously, you've been so cool setting this up and doing this with me. And so far, you, you're a great guy. But, Juwan, your energy has always been there, bro. And it's, it's the, here tonight. Like, And it's going to take you places, bro, for real. Like, your, your energy is always there. And that's what you need. When you're starting up like a, like a business, you know, when you're starting something cool up, you need the energy, you need the momentum, and I feel like you always bring that. So I appreciate uh, those kind yeah. words, man. Look, yeah. I just try to be a positive influence, and bro, Zaretsky, uh puts me in my place a lot of times too, which is good. Uh, a little power, power dynamic, you know. You Zaretsky, know, tell him about balance. my text message abilities, how bad that is, because I think I'm, that needs to be put so, on the pod. I'm trying to find another battery, but if there was two ends of the battery and they were going against each other, that's me and Joanne. That, yeah, yeah, that's how it, that's how it works. That's how that's how the magic happens, right? It's crazy. Yeah. It, it's it's it opposites happens. attract, and that's what makes yeah. doing the unstructured power with Juwan so beautiful. That. Yeah, that is exactly how the magic happens. Let's go. It's so great. Hell yeah. Yeah. Zaretsky, you want to hit him with the golden question? Yeah, Justin. Uh, if you've seen a couple of episodes, or if you're a fan of the pod, you will know the golden question is: What is the word of the day, and why? The word of the day, and why? Okay. My word of the day is going to be very rare. It doesn't, can it, it could be anything? Any word, word, any judgment, no judgment? No. Okay. My word of the day is going to be koala because <laughs> I love koala bears and it's a random thing. And I feel like when you ask a word of the day question, it's just, it's just random. I love koala bears and I love animals and I love, they're my favorite animals. So that's my word of the day, koala. Is that like a new thing, the koalas or? <laughs> no, uh, no. This has been an this has been an ongoing thing. I actually, Brad and I had a word of the day, uh, whiteboard in our apartment. We would write word of the day, and I'd, and I would always write like an I wrote like elephant once. I always like pick animals for word of the day. But if you want like an inspirational uh, word of the day, let's go momentum. Like momentum, I love that word. That's 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 a solid word too. So those are my two. Builds, words. Yeah, momentum. Build on, momentum is wow. just building on building already on, yep. more progression. Yep. Keep on keeping on. But at the end of the day, for me, if we're going to hit a little bit motivational, whatever you're building, just know that focus on your own journey. I think a lot of times people will look at Justin's Instagram and see all the things that he's doing with the individuals he serves. But people don't know the other side of that when he was grinding in his uh, apartment, having to study for all those exams that you took for personal training. Right. There's a lot of things that people don't know. Um, So it's just like make sure everybody is on your same journey. So, Mira, I know that was the that was the golden question. But if there's any last words that you want to leave. Uh, advice for somebody that either that wants to get from a workout perspective, self improvement, like just I want to give you the floor. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's just sound very generic, but like just just never give up. I mean, it's it's like I had such a passion for exercise in the gym, and you know I was at Penn State for kinesiology. It was a, if you know kinesiology at Penn State, uh, shout out all my kines majors at Penn State. Tough major, like the the, exa- the, the classes I had to take. The it, it was like ridiculously hard, bro. And I remember. I was living with Brad, uh, Brad, shout out Brad Kraut. Like we're living together. Brad was a communications major. He was doing all his marketing senior year was crushing it. Like making great money, bro. Like his senior year of college, making good money, doing his TikTok thing, blowing up. And I remember like I was grinding my ass off with Kines, bro. Like just grind up just to be, just to do what I love to do. Just for passion, what I love to do. 
And I remember seeing Brad just like, I'm not saying what Brad do, does is he was working his ass off. And I was like, dude, like he has to do these classes. Like it's so sick that he could do what he loves to do. He doesn't have to do a freaking score. But I was like, you know what, Justin, it's going to, it's going to pay off one day. Like the score it's going to, you know, like this is how you, this is the path you have to take. So just take it and, and get there. So it's all about just knowing that you're doing the right thing, having that vision and that self-trust, knowing you're doing the right thing. Cause there were times I wanted to stop. I was like, this is ridiculous. Like this, is, I, I want to be a trainer. I want to be a strength coach. You know, why do I have to do all these chem, chem classes and physics classes? And I was like, just, just stick through, persevere, got my degree. And you know, I got hit. I made sick connections at Penn state. I obviously worked started with the Nelt boys it's been it's been so fun to never give up on yourself and just trust yourself and trust your vision but ultimately at the end of the day ha- make sure you have the vision because if you don't have the vision like what is there to work with you got to have a clear vision clear goal in mind um when it comes to what you want to do um in order to pursue that love that and if you don't know who brad is and you want to <laughs> see another dynamic duo like basically justin's twi- twin brother if you were to yeah. have one Go check out our podcast that we did with Brad. We'll link it down in the description. But, Justin, thank yeah. you so much for your time today, man. Oh, it was boy. Thank you, thank you for having me. Let's go. I really appreciate it. Uh, I'm really excited for you guys. I'm I'm, I'm tuned in now. So, let, let's see. I want to see the, these uh, guests you guys get on here. I'm amped up. Yes, sir. Let's We're do never, it, man. Never hey, Retsky, you got to get Brad. I, I got to see this. Yes, sir. We got to keep growing cool. and keep, keep elevating. Up. That's our goal. Zretsky, close us out. Thanks for listening to this week's edition of the Unstructured Podcast. From Justin Mira. Juan Farah and myself, Ethan Zaretsky. We out. We out.